government has appealed to all political parties to enable passage of GST bill in the winter session of parliament beginning tomorrow. In the all party meeting, government had said political differences should not come in the way of serving the cause of the people. PM Narendra Modi said that GST is in the interest of the country and parliament must run constructively. Centre ready to debate any issue including intolerance in the upcoming winter session of parliament. Union Parliamentary Affairs Minister Venkaiah Naidu said actor Amir Khan's jibe on the issue has hurt India and that we are pained by his remarks. The government on its part has time and again pointed out that pluralism is the very embodiment of India. Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan has also called a meeting of all political parties. Earlier in a letter to all members of parliament, she had appealed to them to maintain decorum in parliament. Monsoon session was largely unproductive as it saw very little business due to constant disruptions by a stubborn opposition. Ahead of the crucial climate change summit in Paris, India has said that it is ready to be part of the solution for tackling climate change. Environment Minister Prakash Jabrekar emphasized on the need to look at the polluter pays principle as one of the ways to tackle climate change. UN Chief Ban Ki-moon appreciated India's efforts to tackle climate change. In Jammu and Kashmir, three terrorists involved in attack on army camp in Kupwara have been killed after a fierce gunfight that broke out between militants and the Indian army. A civilian was also killed in the firing. The birth anniversary of the first Sikh Guru, Guru Nanak Dev, is being celebrated across the country. A Gurbani recital was organized at the Rashtrapati Bhavan Cultural Center in New Delhi. President, Vice President, Prime Minister and other dignitaries were present on the occasion. President Pranam Mukherjee was presented with a shawl at the Gurbani recital. Railway Minister Suresh Prabhu has said that the modernization of Indian railways can boost the country's GDP by 2.5 to 3 percent over a period of time. Enlisting steps that the government is taking for its growth, he said that in the last six months, the ministry has implemented as many as 103 of the budget announcements. The special campaign Swaj Bharat Swaj Himalaya, started by Border Security Force on 12th October, culminated today after a 45-day expedition. A cycle rally was organized from India Gate to the BSF Institute. Environment and Forests Minister Prakash Javrekar, who is the chief guest of the campaign, said BSF personnel have sent a message to the society that they can extend support in protecting environment besides safeguarding borders. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has warned that disruptive ISIS activities could impact the world economy. He further said that what ISIS has been doing across the world in the last few months poses a grave danger to civilization. The terror outfit ISIS has captured territories in Iraq and Syria and launched attacks in Western world, including the recent attacks in Paris that killed 129 persons. A state of emergency has been declared in Tunisia and curfew in its capital after a terror attack killed at least 12 officers and injured 20 others. The bomb attack was targeted against Tunisia's presidential guard bus. A Russian pilot who went missing after his jet was shot down by Turkey over Syrian border was rescued by the Syrian army, Russia's ambassador to France said. Meanwhile, Russia's defense ministry has said the second pilot was killed. Turkey's President Erdogan said Turkey doesn't want escalation with Russia over downed plane. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has said Turkey's downing of Russian fighter jet a planned provocation. Earlier, Russian President Vladimir Putin asked Russians not to visit Turkey. In Macau Open, badminton tournament B. Sai Pranit and H.S. Pranoy reach pre-quarterfinals of men's singles. Pranit defeated Uzbekistan's Artyom Sabatyugin 21-11, 21-8 in the second round, while HS Pranoy beat Chinese Taipei's Lin Chia Suan 21-19, 21-15.